Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life here with my printer that is not printing. And that is because of this guy. And I'm going to get all into all of that in just a minute. First, some backstory. Um, so as I'm sure you've known, I have been printing parts for the 3D kit. This is actually not my room. Uh, this is a different room that I've just been printing from so I could do overnight prints. I had a few successful overnight prints, which was great. Um, I was making some really good progress, ready to get all the kits out by pretty much by tomorrow or by today I forget um, but anyway uh, all of a sudden whenever I would do a print about half an hour in uh, I would notice that it would stop extruding and when I would look um, if I looked in here I would just see a bunch of these little black frays and uh, when I pulled out the filament to check it the gear had ground away a groove in the the filament so that it wasn't able to push it because it wasn't contacting it um, so then I went to test the hot end, I pushed it in, and it, it went right through no problem. So and this happened multiple times. So I knew it was not the hot end. It was something to do with the extruder mechanism. I opened it up, took it apart, there was no broken extruder pieces. Uh, so then I went to look at the stepper motor, and that was when I noticed the first strange thing. I was noticing a very... Uh, a low-pitched hum constantly coming from the stepper motor. Uh, it almost sounded like it was running, like it was turning, but it wasn't, and it wasn't even powered. I could turn it by hand, and it was still making that hum. And on top of that, it was getting extremely hot, well, well over a tem comfortable temperature to touch, even though I had adjusted the potentiometer, and I can't see too much. I had adjusted the potentiometer to be as low as possible while still having enough torque to move the filament. So it couldn't go any lower, but it was still getting ridiculously hot. So at that point, I figured it must be a problem with either the printer board or the stepper. So what I did was I swapped the stepper plug with a different plug. I'm actually, well, you can't really see much anyway. Anyway, I swapped them to check if it was the printer board or the motor, and sure enough, the motor was still making the humming. It was still getting hot even after being plugged in for just a few minutes. Um, and so at that point I concluded it must have been the motor, but I had no clue what. From what I've heard, it could have been a short, um, but I didn't actually cut it off and test it until just now, and I just want to share with you what I found. So here I have the stepper. I did actually take it apart briefly just to look inside. I looked at all the top coils, and all of them were fine, no damage. Um, but then I remembered uh, seeing all these people doing cable strain relief. I always thought it was kind of silly because it wasn't really moving all that far. Um, but sure enough, I went to test it. If you touch two of the same color uh, coils together and you try to turn the motor, I can't do this now because I have one hand, the motor will be harder to turn um, because it is closing this loop on the magnet so that the extra... Uh, I guess current is cycling back through and magnetizing them. Um, but what I did was I would hold them together with one hand and I would spin this and then I would wiggle these around and I'd notice that at certain points it would become free again and easy to turn. And basically what that means is that at certain points when the printer is at certain points and these wires are at a certain angle, uh, it's pulling them in just the right way so that they have finally broken a connection in here and that they are no longer um, giving the full power to the stepper. So that would cause it to probably jitter, um, to do weird funky stuff with the filament and eventually uh, bore a groove into the side of it and make it unable to continue printing. Um, so the solutions to this, one, you can take it apart. I still have to figure out, I think you can get this bottom part too. I was only able to get the top off, but if I can get the bottom off, I can probably resolder that the wire that has come loose, which is either the black or the green one I figured out. Um, but I'm also getting a new stepper motor today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in that new stepper today, not even worry about this. And then when I have some free time, uh, probably while I'm at school, I will take this apart and I will attempt to fix it. But now that I know that I really do need some cable strain relief, I'm going to be incorporating that into the 3UP design, probably onto this piece here. There's this let me just put the motor in for perspective so you can see some color. This cross piece here, I will probably put something uh, just like two nut holes, and you can just bolt on a piece that will hold all of your 
uh, the stepper motor and all the hot end thermistor fan, all that cabling in one spot so that you don't have to worry about cable strain because I know that can be a worry for hot end components too as well as the stepper. Anything that moves basically. This one's fine because it's a plug that goes right in. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So I do apologize again to everybody in the second batch um, for the delay. But, well, there's nothing I could do about this unless I had planned ahead and used some cable strain relief like I probably should have. Um, but regardless, I will be getting this up and running later today, hopefully. I will be cutting all of the threaded rods and making all of the acrylic beds today and tomorrow. And that will be it. And then I'll be ready to um, ship out, hopefully, by Wednesday, if all goes as planned. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it um, slightly educational. I would highly recommend doing some kind of cable strain relief, especially for the steppers, since these are wired straight to the coils and they just go through here. If you even read, you can just put some hot hot glue in this hole and that will uh, anchor them securely enough. But yeah, definitely some kind of cable strain relief is needed for the steppers. Definitely for everything else, probably recommended, but not so um, recommended or not so required. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.